hello everyone welcome back to my channel this feels so so strange because i haven't filmed a video in a couple of months so like i can't stop smiling because i'm just so like happy to film a video again and just to come back and do some content so i don't want this video to turn into like a massive update if you guys want a real you know in-depth update video let me know in the comments and i can definitely do that but if i'm honest i just wanted to snap back into it get back into the videos that i love to film it's actually the second intro that i have filmed because my sister just come in trying to try on some clothes and and I feel like she's really throwing me off my game. <laughs> Basically, um, just to cut a long story short, I haven't been filming just because of uni and deadlines and assignments and I've just been crazy, crazy busy. You guys may remember from some of my um, latest videos that I was saying about how I am going to be um, going and doing my placements because my course that I do, my degree, is a um, primary education degree so I have to go and do placement. And I absolutely loved it but because I was doing placement and doing my degree and working part-time at a supermarket, which I still do now, I was just so stretched for time. So I had a bunch of stuff going on. I got COVID and I was a little bit poorly. Um, I was absolutely fine, but I did feel really rough. I also went on holiday, I went to Barcelona um, and it's all just been a real crazy thing. And I've only just finished. I literally finished last week. So I've been gagging to film a video and I thought what better video to film. Now I am actually going on holiday. I'm going on a girl's holiday at the start of July, which I cannot wait for. I've never done a girl's holiday before and I am beyond excited. I have bought so many clothes. Um, um, and I feel like this is going to be a little bit of like a collaborative haul, mainly going to be Primark and Pretty Little Thing, but I've also got some Zara and some Boohoo as well. Hopefully this can give you some inspiration maybe because I have been watching so many videos, so many TikToks trying to get holiday inspiration, outfit inspiration, that sort of thing. This is also going to be the first sunny holiday I've had since before COVID, so you best believe that I cannot wait. So without further ado, let's get into the haul and let's get started. Okay, so I feel like it's only right to start with Primark first because Primark is my number one and I love it and it's also probably the most affordable um, clothes that I've got here. So I'm going to start off with this shirt. So this is your basic kind of like beach shirt. It's almost like a bit of a crinkly material. I don't know if you can see that. It's got pockets, which I actually quite liked because a lot of the over shirts don't have pockets. So I thought that was quite cool. Not that I probably use them, but I don't know. I thought it was quite cool that they were included. Um, but I just love the colour. It's a really nice baby pink colour. I found a lot of the over shirts online are really hot pink. Um, and I have so much pink in this haul as well guys I feel like I've really gone for a bit of a theme here for holiday I got in a size 12 because I wanted it to be nice and oversized it's obviously long sleeves it cuffs at the bottom um and it just kind of like drapes at the bottom there as well you can obviously do it up if you like I've also seen a lot of people style them with like bikinis and then even then tying them I feel like that looks quite cool I won't lie I'm not the most comfortable or confident in a bikini I'm really not but something about wearing an overshirt just makes me feel so much more comfortable and I really love that they're in this year because I think it really does help a lot of people that aren't that body confident out it gives you almost like that layer of protection not that anyone needs it but for me personally it makes me feel a bit better so I loved this this was 14 pounds as well which I don't think is that bad it's actually really good quality it's not like a cotton material it's just really nice and it's quite sheer and just feels really soft and really comfy and I feel like it's going to be a really really good staple for when I'm away so I love this next I've got some trousers now I absolutely love these trousers so much I got them in the Bristol Primark a couple of weeks ago um and I just feel like they're so versatile they are hot pink so like I said a lot of pink going on here I got these in a size 12 which is typically my size for trousers and I really really like them um so basically they're quite tight at the sort of waist um and on your thighs and your legs um but then they kind of like split out and go a little bit flared I think it looks so cool especially with heels I actually wore this with an outfit that I will show you when I show another item um, because I don't want to give the other item away but it literally was the most perfect outfit and these trousers just looked amazing with them so I think I paid £15 for these trousers which I think is a really really good price I've been looking for a hot pink pair of trousers for quite a long time I've been looking on ASOS and Pretty Little Thing and these are really cheap and I felt like the quality for Primark were really good. I felt like they were really flattering on my legs and I just loved them. I love the colour as well. Like I said, really into pink at the moment. So really glad I managed to find these because I've already worn them but I also feel like they're going to be great for holiday or maybe like colder evenings or evening outfit, that sort of vibe. Next thing I've got sticking with the pink theme is a bikini. So this is actually, I think, it, I want to say it's like one of the only bikinis that I have bought from Primark this year. I think it is the only bikini that I bought from Primark this year. Um, but it is a high-waisted one um, because I really love the look of high-waisted ones. 
ones, I think they look so nice and flattery. These are the bottoms, um, so they look like this, obviously nice and high-waisted, um, and they've also got like almost like this runched detailing here, which is really, really nice. Really nice, almost like fuchsia pink colour. Um, I got the bottoms in a size 10, the bottoms were five pounds. And then I've also got the top here, which is really hard to kind of hold up and show you, and I've just realised I've not even done the top up properly, so if I did that, that would be helpful. So it is a halter neck that you tie, um, and then this is obviously what the um, bikini top itself looks like. So it looks like this, it's almost like a crisscross sort of style, um, and then it's obviously got a back fastener here as well. One thing I love about this is the fact that it does have a halter neck because you can obviously adjust it, um, which is always good because some of the cheaper bikinis don't have adjustable straps or halter necks or anything like that, so I really loved that. I also love like the lining, sort of like ribbed detail of it as well. It's almost got like a ribbed sort of detail and there's inside cuts in these as well which again just feel so much nicer because I feel like you feel a bit more like protected like you're not gonna like fall out all over the place in the pool. The top was eight pounds I got that one in a size 12 slightly bigger because I am a different size on my top than I am to my bottom but I just really really loved this little set I thought it was a bargain for both prices. I feel like alongside with this shirt like the two colours go together really really nicely that was the exact vibe that I got. I got these in Manchester Primark I feel like I've been to all the Primarks recently <laughs> but I got them together and I tried them on the changing rooms and they look really really nice so really glad that I decided to pick up this one. The next thing I got from Primark which I actually got a little while ago now um, but I think they do still sell it in store and I've seen so many people with this. Two of the girls that I'm actually going on the holiday with have the exact same skirt so literally I feel like it's so popular. This is what it looks like it almost looks like a skater uh, skirt. It's like a silky material it's floral print I've seen so many people wear this um, and there's loads of videos funnily enough styling up on TikTok so I found that really helpful because I thought we can get me some ideas. I got this one in a size 10. I felt like the size 10 fit perfect. It's got the elasticated waist and this was £9 which I don't think is bad at all. I feel like if you were to buy it on like Pretty Little Thing or Boohoo or something it would be probably a bit more expensive so I didn't think that was bad at all. It doesn't have any lining in it but strangely it's not actually that see-through. Um, I've tried it on with a few different outfits and it looks really really nice. It's just a really nice versatile skirt that I feel like to take on holiday is going to go with lots of different outfits. If you're someone that's travelling light you know only taking hand luggage for example or you're taking a backpack or whatever this skirt's going to be really good because it's so thin that it rolls up into nothing but it's also going to be one of those items that you can wear with everything so yeah really really love this skirt really nice length and I just love all the colours in it as well it's got lots of colours so lots of like colour blocking matching kind of opportunities and I love that. Moving back on to the pink because obviously I couldn't not buy some more pink apparently I decided to get this ribbed dress now I am obsessed with ribbed bodycon dresses at the minute especially midi length and maxi length ones. I actually got one on at the minute I don't know if you guys can see um, but it is actually from ASOS this one this is one of the ASOS racer bodysuits I think it was literally like £16 and they're so comfy and I get so many compliments on them they're not see-through whatsoever and they're really really good I'm going to insert some pictures of them on screen so you know what they look like but I actually bought these a little while back and I feel like I probably should have included them in the haul itself but they're really comfortable and really really nice good staples for holiday as well but I did actually fall in love with this one from Primark and I tried it on in the changing room and again it wasn't see-through the quality felt amazing if anything I actually felt like these ones were a little bit more figure hugging than the ASOS ones so I decided to get this one in a size 10. This one was £9 again which I don't think is bad. It's got a really really nice neckline very similar to this one and I love kind of like almost like a scoop neckline. I think it looks really flattering. Obviously it is a rib material. It's a slightly different rib material to the one I've got on now um, but it's a really nice length. This one is slightly longer than my ASOS ones. It is more of a maxi length but I don't mind that. So I actually tried this on with some of the fakey like Primark skims um, which are really good as well by the way. I've got a pair of those in my drawer that I've tried on and they're really really nice so I really recommend those um, but I just absolutely love the style of it I just thought it looked really really good and it's going to be perfect for kind of like going out for like breakfast or lunch more of like a casual day outfit on holiday or just in England itself like obviously I got mine on today but I also feel like you could easily dress it up of an evening outfit as well next I couldn't not pick up some sandals so strangely enough don't know what's wrong with me but I haven't actually picked up your standard 90p pair of Primark flip flops and I need to get some every time I go into Primark they don't have any of my size and I don't know what's going on it's obviously because everyone's like loving life and going abroad 
but I really need some. So the only um, sandals I've actually got from Primark to show you are these ones here. They are really nice, kind of like black, chunky, heeled ones. Love them so much. Again, the quality looks really, really good. And I tried these on in the shop and I actually had a girl come up to me and say, you need to buy those because they look so cool. And if I'm honest, guys, if someone says that to you, when you're literally just trying on some shoes, and bear in mind, I don't even think I was in a nice outfit. I think I was in a really scruffy outfit and... I just felt really good and I thought you know what I can't not buy them now I've literally had a compliment off a stranger one of the best feelings ever as well honestly made my day made me so happy so I had to buy them so I got these ones here I literally was about to hold them like that this is what they look like like I said nice chunky heel I got them in a size 5 and these were only £10 which I thought were really good they're really comfortable as well I haven't worn them out yet but I have been trying to wear them in so I don't get any blisters on my holiday I just really really like them I think they look so lovely um, and they're going to go with loads of outfits as well because they're black they're a staple colour really really nice super comfortable gonna go with all my outfits and I love them so much so I decided to pick up some of these and then the final thing I got from Primark is one of their racer bodysuits now if I'm completely honest I'm not really the biggest fan of their racer bodysuits I never tried this on in the changing rooms when I bought this um it is quite see-through and I do feel like I don't like the fact they're not double lined. You know the Zara ones, they are double lined and I always just feel really protected in those. I can't explain it. You can wear them without a bra and it doesn't feel strange. These are very see-through. They are only six pounds to be fair. They are like half the price of the Zara ones, but I do really like them. I loved the color as well. I feel like it went really, really well with the skirt. Obviously I got the skirt here and I felt like the two of them together went really nicely. It's kind of like a color block outfit. So I decided to get this and I got it in a size small. This is obviously the color. It's it's just your standard kind of like racer bodysuit. Um, it is a really nice material. I just wish it was double lined. I feel like if you wear a bra underneath, it's going to be too see-through. If you don't wear a bra underneath, it's going to be too see-through. Like, I don't know quite how I'm going to work this out for holiday, but I do feel like it is a nice little staple. And racer bodysuits literally go with everything. Like, I have so many of the Zara ones. Really, really nice, really comfortable. Um, and I couldn't really go wrong for six pounds. So I decided to pick up one of those. Next, I'm going to move on to Boohoo, only because I've only got one thing from Boohoo. If I'm honest, I actually love a lot of the stuff on Boohoo at the minute. Like, so much stuff, they are really doing bits, but I don't pay for the next day delivery for a year for Boohoo. I have next day free delivery for a year for ASOS and Pretty Little Thing, which is why I feel like I get a lot of my stuff from there. However, I saw this and I fell in love with it. I have already wore this. I actually styled this up when I went to Brighton with my boyfriend for the weekend. I'll insert a picture of my outfit here so you can see. Um, but this is what it looks like. So it's like that really nice kind of like crinkle, plissy material. It's zebra print and it's just another one of the over shirts. This is really, really nice. Um, although it's white and black, it's not very see-through, which is really nice. And again, I just feel like with a black or a white bikini, this is going to look really lovely. I also feel like, like I styled up in Brighton you could just wear it with a bodysuit and a pair of shorts I think my bodysuit was one of the Zara ones and then I just had an ASOS pair of shorts on with it and it looked really nice and if you do want to button it up or tie it up with a bikini you obviously have your little buttons here as well now this I think was £14 in the sale I think they are still selling it and they do have matching trousers which really do look good kind of feel like I should have got the trousers now to make like complete outfit but I absolutely love this I think I got it in a size 10 I would say it does come up shorter than I expected. It wasn't quite as oversized as the Primark one is. So if you are wanting one of these, I probably would size up if you want it a little bit more oversized. I feel like I probably should have got it in a 12 just to make it that extra bit baggier. But the 10 does still fit fine. So I do really love this. And I love the material. Like, I can't like stop feeling the material. It just feels really nice. Moving on to Pretty Little Thing. So I actually did quite a big order on Pretty Little Thing about a month and a half ago. I didn't like a lot of hat fitted. I got some trousers were a bit too tight. I got a dress that was a bit too see-through. And I kind of lost all hope. And then I did another separate order of these two items. And I fell in love with them. So the first thing I've got here is a corset top. Which I feel like are so in at the minute and I'm here for it so nice this was in fact the top that I paired with the pink Primark trousers I'm going to insert a picture of my outfit on screen so you guys can see I loved it I literally felt so good in this outfit I feel like in general corset tops are really flattering for everyone um I feel like they just are really really nice I got this in a size 10 
no I got it in a 12 now one thing I will say about this is it does fit quite small it does do up don't get me wrong and I know the whole style of a corset top is to be slightly tighter um, but it was quite tight for a 12 which is really really unlike me I am more of a 10 on top than I am um, on my bottom so I did get a 12 with this but I'm glad I did so I would size up with this one if you ask to order it got a really lovely floral pattern um, and it's obviously a really nice kind of like silky material and then as you can see here you just kind of like tie up the sides like this so really really flattering it's got really lovely shape the back is obviously just like a silver metal zip back um, and I just absolutely loved this so much this one was £22 which for a corset top that is pretty good quality I won't lie is really nice quality um, I don't think that's that bad at all it's got lots of lining and boning and stuff in it as well that's my uh, GCC textiles coming in really loved this with the trousers it looked lovely I also paired it with a black Bershka blazer sort of like hung over my shoulders and it was just such a nice outfit and I'm definitely going to be taking this on holiday because I feel like even with denim jeans or like white floaty trousers or something it's going to look really lovely so really glad I picked up this one um, and I just love the pattern so much. Next thing I decided to grab is this midi skirt so it's a really lovely orange colour I feel like the camera's actually really picking up the colour well um, so I got this one in a size 12 and it fits perfectly it's got a little side zip here um, and it's obviously just got this really nice runched detailing um, which kind of flows down and then it comes into a bit of like a split skirt. Really, really lovely item. I've actually tried it on with um, a few different tops and it literally goes with everything. I feel like when you have a nice statement colour in your outfit, all you need to do is pair it with a basic and it just looks amazing. Um, I've tried it with some Zara bodysuits and sort of like crop tops and stuff and it looks really, really nice. Now, I think it was literally like £15 as well, so really good. The colour also just kind of screams holiday to me um, and I just feel like it's going to look the best with a tan on holiday, sipping a cocktail, you know, you get the vibe. Really, really excited to wear this. Obviously, I still have the tags on it because I am reserving this one for holiday. Anything with tags still on, I'm like literally putting in a little box aside to keep it for my holiday. Day. definitely one of those items I'm really glad that I picked it up they also do this in a bunch of different colors so I would really have a look online on the PLT website have a little look see what they've got because I love this so much and then the final thing I have picked up recently which I don't know if I'm actually going to take on my holiday I mean you could it might be a bit too hot for holiday but I really wanted to include them because again I've had quite a few people message me I've had a few compliments about these trousers um, and I just thought they're worth a share because they were a bargain so these are the trousers. I got them from Zara. They are a pair of stone cargoes. This is what they look like. They are a beautiful colour. They have some front pockets here. On the back they've got almost like fakey pockets. That's probably the only thing I don't like about them. And then as you go down you've got more pockets. Um, and then they just flare out. And they are so, so, so comfortable. They also fit really nicely as well. And um, they fit really nicely around my thighs. I've actually feel like my thighs have grown quite a lot the last year. And I've been really struggling to find bottoms that fit. And these fit so, so, so nicely. I actually tried these on in the Bristol changing rooms. Um, I got them in a size 14. Now, I do feel like I could have maybe squeezed into the 12. But I do feel like with cargoes, the oversized look is a lot better. So I sized up with them. Um, but I just absolutely love them. I'm going to insert a picture here somewhere of me wearing them so you guys can see what they look like on me. Go with so many outfits. The fact they're beige means that they just go with everything, which I love as well. Um, and these were literally £27, which I think is a bargain. So, so good for a pair of cargoes. And I've tried a few different ones, and these are definitely the best fitting I've found. I tried some from um, Pretty Little Thing, and they were a bit too long, and I didn't really like the material. And I tried some from Stradivarius, I think it's called. I can never say the brand right, so no judging if I've got it wrong. And I actually tried some on in Barcelona, and they were so small fitting, it was unreal. I literally just about fit in a size 16 and I'm not a size 16. I do know that cargoes can come up quite small on some people but I felt like the sizing was really off. Whereas with these I just feel like they fit really nicely and they're really comfortable as well. So I couldn't not include these in this little clothing haul for you guys because I feel like I need to get you onto them because they are an absolute bargain and a really good wardrobe staple. So that was everything I've got to share with you today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give a big thumbs up. And of course, let me know down below in the comments any new videos you guys want to see because I have got my entire summer now to film as many videos as possible. Can't wait to make some good content with you all. And I just really hope that you guys are all still watching um, or that you're still interested in watching some of my videos um, because I love filming them and um, I'm just really glad that I've been able to come back and do it again. I also feel like it's really important to say that I did actually film an update video 
um, about two months ago, kind of saying if I'm not on YouTube, this is where I've gone. Um, but the whole video, it was really ironic. Basically in the video, I hadn't yet been told I had COVID. I actually had COVID in that video and I didn't realize. So I was sat there going, oh yeah, like I've been feeling a bit poorly and a bit under the weather and I think I've got a cold. And then two days later, COVID struck me down. So yeah, I never uploaded that because I just felt like it was a bit irrelevant, wasn't really truthful and kind of didn't really explain anything properly. But I hope you guys have stuck in anyway, stuck in with this big haul and I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you all very, very, very soon, I promise, for a new video. Bye. <laughs>